So, with Christmas nearly upon us, Dice LA have taken it upon themselves to introduce some Christmas themed Easter eggs into the Battlefield 4 CTE client. So if you're on PC, you can now jump into the CTE and you can get your hands on some really cool looking pieces of equipment. <laughs> but we'll talk about those in a second. There's just a couple of other things that I want to mention. Uh, a couple of things that's going to happen over Christmas for my channel uh, that hopefully you guys are looking forward to uh, as much as I am. I've been playing a lot of Far Cry 4 recently and I've been really, really enjoying it. Um, I'm not really sure how to put it into a video form though because I do kind of want to show what I've been doing. Most of the time it's just sort of running around free roaming, killing animals and liberating outposts but I do kind of want to put it into a video form and I've spoken to a couple of people, I've spoken to Dolce and uh, he might be willing to do a little bit of co-op with me which would be really cool. Uh, I also wanted to kind of maybe put my own story together within Far Cry so maybe making it up into the far north Himalaya region in Kyra. I think that would be a really cool thing to do. Uh, but the first video I am going to do is just sort of showing how you hunt and how you get different animals but also just using the recurve bow which is like the bow in BF4 but using that to take down animals rather than using like machine guns and stuff because you can get more things by taking it down in that way than you can using a machine gun. So that's the first video I'm probably going to put out this weekend just to show you how I really got into the game and then I'm probably going to kick into maybe a little mini series over the Christmas period because there's not a huge amount going on with Battlefield 4 right now and there's no point me making videos that don't really have anything in it. So I thought I'd put together something that you might enjoy. And Far Cry 4 is still a first person shooter. So so hopefully you'll enjoy what I actually post for you guys. I, I do hope you enjoy it. But yes, back to the important stuff. The BF4 Easter eggs. I've really got into finding these Easter eggs and obviously showcasing them on my channel recently. It's something that I really like to do. But I never really got involved with it until Final Stand. Because it did take a lot of time and effort. And because I've got a full time job as well. I didn't have the greatest time in the world to actually do it. But it just so happened that around the final stand release I did have a few days off work which really worked well and I could really get into the nitty gritty of unlocking a few things. So I really like doing that but on the screen right now you can see what they've changed in CTE. It's a, it's just a little thing. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference to, well, really anything other than the fact that the C4 is now named Jeep Stuff. If you're in the support class that is. If you're in the recon class and you're using C4, it says possibly stolen Jeep stuff. And this is all a reference to Neebs Gaming and a video he did with the Battlefield friends. It's kind of an Easter egg just sort of all involved with that. If you throw down the C4, it turns into a little Christmas present, which I think is really cool. And on there, on the name tag, you can see it says two Neebs, which points to the fact that it is all to do with the video that he did with Battlefield Friends, which I think is really cool. It's like a community involvement within the community test environment, which I kind of guess is what it's for. <laughs> Only just occurred to me that those two things link together, but that is that is quite cool. And uh, the ammo crate, as you can probably see, turns into a Christmas present as well. They don't function any differently, they've just got different skins on them, but it's quite a nice addition to the game and just something a little bit Christmassy that everybody can get involved with. A couple of other CTE changes that have recently come into the game as well is the ability to change the reticle colour on a lot of the sites within the game now. You'll notice on things like the ACOG site, the Coyote site, Cobra site, Red Dot site, pretty much whichever one has a reticle in the middle is all red at the moment. And that can kind of get lost in sunlight, it can get lost on different backgrounds, depending on what you're aiming at, you can lose the reticle in the middle of your site and you might not think that that's such a game changing thing but if you lose sight of the reticle which is where you know the bullets are tend to be going then it can be really difficult to get your aim back on target again. So to address that Dice LA have given us the ability to change the reticle colour, the reticle size and the hip fire crosshairs on the screen as well. So you can now edit all of those with an RGB sort of slider scale color changer thing. So you've got red, green and blue. And if you move them around it will change color. And of course as I said you can change the scale of the red dot as well. Which gives you the option to sort of boost it up to like 150%. Which might not sound so appealing but on different sites you might want to make the reticle a different size. 
I think that's a really nice addition, not just for the fact that it helps people who might lose the reticle, depending on what they're looking at, but also it's a nice bit of customization because at the moment we have a lot of things that you can do with your weapon. You've got all these attachments that you can put on there, all these lovely camos, but you couldn't change the reticle color. It's not something that people were crying out to have, but the fact that it's been put into the game just adds another layer of customization into Battlefield 4, and I think everybody supports that. It's a win-win for everybody. So, those are the recent changes, those are the easter eggs, and that is what I'm going to be doing with my channel in the next couple of weeks or so over Christmas. I'm going to try and put out as many videos as I can, I'm just going to stick to my normal schedule, but obviously everybody gets busy around this time of year. I haven't posted properly for nearly two weeks, I've been out on my schedule at work and I've got loads of other things I'm doing at the moment, so I'm just going to bring the videos that I can to you guys. I know you've got lots of other guys that you watch as well, so hopefully you're not missing out. But thank you very much for watching today. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be much appreciated. And leave some comments down below too. Let me know what you're doing for Christmas and what do you think about these Easter eggs today. But thank you very much for watching. My name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Reindeer everywhere.